Okay? Two different ways for you guys uh, to solve this problem. Now, Kristen, how many cues do we have? <clears throat> one, but it's squared, right? So I have one cue that's squared. Ladies and gentlemen, when we only have one variable, meaning just one variable, I don't have like two q squareds, I don't have a q squared and a q, I can just solve this by using inverse operations, right? So if I have 36, q squared minus 49 equals zero, just use inverse operations. Undo everything that's happening to the q. First thing you always undo is addition and subtraction. So I add 49 to the other side. That adds up to zero. Then I'm left with 36 q squared equals 49. Now I look at my variable and I say, all right, it's being multiplied by 36. So now I undo multiplication. So now I have q squared equals 49 over 36. So the, the um, inverse operation of addition and subtraction, the inverse operation of multiplication is division. The inverse operation, Eileen, of squaring is going to be? Square root. Square root. So then you just take the square root of both sides. And remember, when we introduce the square root, JD, do you remember what we have? When we introduce the square root, what do we need to make sure we take into account? The positive and the negative value. So Q is going to equal plus or minus 7 over 6. All right? Justin? Now, there's another thing that we need to look at. There's another way to do this because, ladies and gentlemen, I showed you the difference of two squares can be written as a squared minus b squared. So I need to determine can I rewrite this using difference? Of, can I rewrite this as a term squared minus another term squared? So we need to look at this and say, is 36 a squared number? Yeah, yeah we can write it as 6 squared. And q squared is obviously a squared number. So we could say 6 squared times q squared minus 49 squared, which would be 7 squared equals 0. Now, what I need to do, though, is see, can I write this as a squared term? Well, 6 squared q squared is 6q squared minus 7 squared equals 0. So, ladies and gentlemen, do I have a squared term minus another squared term? Yes. yes. So, therefore, I can factor it as a plus b times a minus b, because that's the definition of our difference of two squares. So, therefore, I can just factor this. So, I could say, in this case, I could say, a equals 6q, and b equals 7. Right? Would you say those are equivalent? So therefore, my factored form would be 6q minus 7 um, times 6q plus 7 equals 0. Now, to keep the video a little bit short, the next thing you do here is um, zero product property, and then you set both of these equal to 0 and solve which you guys see, did you guys kind of visually see that you're going to have a positive yeah. and a negative? Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly the same thing here. Wow. 